Hi guys, right, this is a, an off-cycle video. These are our sliding doors, which are very nice. However, we are getting water coming in between the DPM and these sliding doors. All of that water is tracking in from the outside. And I think it must be via capillary action getting, getting pulled into the building. We have this expanding foam here. We've got this DPM. So guys who watch the channel regularly and comment and are helpful, what is going on? How do I stop this? All right, the window suppliers, the window fitters are here today, getting this bifolding window in and getting this sliding track door on. This is the base piece. This is what the window sits on and the rollers slide along here. That's the top track. It's all aluminium, nice kind of anthracite gray. It's gonna sit on here. Right, so this is a few weeks later. I'm fast forwarding probably about four weeks from when the rest of this video is done and about two weeks after my plea for help, which is another video on the channel, which I'll put up here. If you haven't seen it, maybe take some time to go and watch it because I explained about a problem that we were having with this, which you can see some of here. So we were getting water tracking in and we weren't exactly sure where it was coming, whether it was under the DPM, in between the DPM layers, whether it was the expanding foam sucking it in. Weren't entirely sure. Some of you posted some really helpful comments and some really insightful things that was that was good and it helped frame my conversation with the installers who I got back to come and help fix the problem. We got a jug of water and we poured the jug in. It's been dry for probably five or six days now. We poured the jug in and a little bit of water started coming in up, up in here. And some of it I think was caused by a crack in the frame from one of the screws. So we have plugged all of the screws with black silicon, but made by a company called Worth, the German company Worth. Fantastic quality products from Worth. I really rate them. And so they, they did all of that. There was no water coming in between the layers of DPM. So there, this, this DPM runs the whole way under this, all the way over, over that way and laps over the brick and comes out here. And then I put a nine inch DPM on top of that, just belt and braces, because this is far stronger than this is in terms of the gauge of it. No water is tracking in between there. So every time we ran that, it was bone dry. But any time we went between the frame and the DPM, it was wet. And there was obviously expanding foam. Thankfully, the expanding foam was not blocking the face cut drainage. So you can actually see here, this water is coming straight out of this face cut drainage. So that, that was fine. Where I think it probably is coming is it is tracking in between here a little bit and coming across. So we've siliconed up all of that and they've siliconed there. What I am gonna be doing is putting some more of these up here and once, that's, once that silicon has gone off, I'll be folding this up and, and basically, if any water did get in this way, there isn't anywhere else for it to go except just tracking straight back out. The other thing that we're going to do once we have rendered this whole thing, so the whole of this is going to be silicon K rend. I'll cut, I'll cut this back. We're going to put silicon K rend, which will probably bring it out by maybe 10 or 12 mil. We are then going to put a little, uh, a little sill unit across here that projects out a little bit. It'll get covered by the deck. You'll never see it, but it will just help bring any water that does come down. It will help bring that away from the wall and away from the, from the. Uh, underside of the window there so they the, the installers came back they were very happy to help troubleshoot problem solve and all the rest of it they gave some suggestions and they did say that if that doesn't fix it they'll do something else they'll try other things they'll do whatever it needs to 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 get fixed so they were very very amenable thank you for all of your comments and help just to address something we didn't put a sill in here because i didn't want it any higher and i didn't want to have to raise the floor up too much and because of the face cut drainage theoretically it doesn't need a sill where on this one over here, we did obviously put a sill in. A sill is always best practice. And maybe I would have actually been better off chopping some of this brick down here by the thickness of the sill and sinking it in. Uh, you know, I'm not a bricky. I didn't really want to be messing around with that and getting involved in that, if I'm perfectly honest. I was a little bit kind of nervous about doing that. 
versus trying other things first. And you know, the company has shown me that there are, it is possible and we will make a way. When the door was installed, I wasn't entirely sure what the height of this lip was going to be compared with the floor joists and all the rest of it. And they packed up the floor so it was as high as it could go. I don't entirely know why. I wasn't I wasn't 100% sure exactly what was needed, to be honest. But anyway, I, I wanted to make this distance up between here and here because I don't want to have a big lip. I don't want to have a big step. It's just out of choice and aesthetic. It's not structural or anything. It's, it's purely out of choice. So I worked out the distance and then I worked out what, I, what sizes I need to be able to make this distance up because I have a 22 millimeter chipboard floor. And then for the structural strength, because so much of the underfloor heating pipe you know, you've got 15 mil of pipe or something in there as well. What they ask you to do is then stick six millimeters of ply on top of it. So I know that I've got 22 mil of chipboard flooring plus six mil of ply plus another four mil of candine or whatever it is. We're going for a luxury vinyl tile, so it's between three and five mil, so four, four mil. And so that plus this batten here makes up the distance, makes up the difference quite nicely actually. So yeah, I'm going along and I'm basically just screwing it in. So the final part of this video for the sliding doors and for the bifold windows, actually in the future, I am way ahead of where you guys are if you're watching this as a series, because I want to show you what the kind of almost finished look and feel is. So these open up and these are some samples. We haven't laid it yet, but these are some samples of the luxury vinyl tile options that we had this one's a bit thinner and these, these are the ones that we're actually going for in terms of thickness and you can see this almost almost completely flush finish that we were after has been achieved so you'll see this in another video because well it hasn't actually been done yet but you'll also see how we get to that point drainage holes the weep holes I don't know how easy it is for you to see that there's one there there's another one back there Occasionally I need to clean them out because we're still walking in and out and it's muddy and dirty. That's not the window's fault, that's our fault. But we haven't had a single leak since we made all the remediations, folding up the DPM, butting everything up. Also on the back here I've cut and trimmed all of this off. There, like that. And like I mentioned, once we render the outside, that will really help as well. So it's actually worked out really well. Thank you for all of your comments. Thank you for all of your input, your advice. You can hear how much noise it cuts out, even just wind noise. They're very, very well insulated. Kind of sound insulated. The seals, it, it, they are very, very good on, and we're really happy with them. It, they've come out really nicely. So yes, thank you very much for your help, your advice, your input. All of your comments and suggestions. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to film quite so much of the installation of these. I was actually working at the time and I was unable to, well I was basically just unable to, to get out here to be able to, to do any of the filming. But we are very happy with how these have come out. And I, I really like this as a little feature, being a, being a bifold window, meaning that we can slide this completely open like that that is a really really nice feature which i'm very happy with so hopefully you, you found this enjoyable and it's slightly shorter than my normal videos but there wasn't a vast amount that i could do because i didn't have i didn't have the footage i didn't have the footage of it being installed so I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I will see you on the next video. Please do like, share, subscribe, all of that. See you on the next one.